Hey there, Mission Control, The Real Martian here. Well, tonight we got to do some chores in the habitat. One of the lanes has actually started to settle into the dirt, so it's starting to sink down a little bit like that. So I'm going to get you some close-ups and show you things that you should and should not do when putting a system like this together. But first, we've got to actually make some blocks to uh, set down into the dirt and uh, bring the... the uh, the bed's back up to level. Uh, sorry. Uh, we've had quite a bit of snow. It's actually still snowing. Uh, I think we're up to our fourth or fifth storm, and there's another one coming tomorrow. Uh, it's supposed to be up to almost a foot of snow with maybe even an inch of freezing rain on top of all that. So we've got our diesel. We've got our fuel for the generators. Both generators are in place. The solar panels are completely inoperable right now. They are so covered in snow. I just simply cannot keep up with this particular uh, series of storms. So we're running on grid power, uh, but we got backup energy if we need it. So uh, one of the things we need to do first before we get going is have a little fun with a chainsaw. So here we go. Don't do this at home unless you know what you're doing. Sometimes I don't think I do. Let's head out there and I'll show you what the problem is. Okay, we're out in lane two now, out in the uh, habitat. Got my tools, they're all in place, and I want to show you what's going on here. So here's a little close-up view. Got our bed. Kind of hard to tell there from the camera angle. But what's happening is it's actually sloping down this way. Kind of see a little bit better there how it's sloping down right here. And the reason for that has to do with the way that I installed these. So here we go. The idea here uh, was originally that I would put wood down into the ground, like what you're seeing here, pressure treated two by sixes. There's two of them in there. And then as the weight of the uh, shelving pushed down on it, these things would kick into the dirt and create like a wedge. And they have successfully done that, but one of the reasons I don't like how I did this is because if any moisture gets into the ground here, you get sinkage, which is what happened in this case. I accidentally left the water on just once. Just once. Left the water on, it got a little too high, a little bit of it. I caught it in time, thank God. Um, for anything really bad to happen, but a little bit of water came up over the lip of the liner right here, came up over it, and this started to sink down. So I really like the simplicity of the way that we did this install. Get everything compacted really, really well, dig it uh, with the backhoe, make sure you keep the integrity of the ground intact, but I don't like how I did this. I, I thought it would be fine. The mechanics of it are, you know, sound. It should have worked really well, but that wet dirt, I didn't think about that. Um, so in the future, when we do lanes one and lanes four, we're going to come up with a better solution here. So I'm all ears. Cement to me, uh, concrete, excuse me, concrete. Uh, would be a better solution, I think, in the long run. It's just how, you know, do we want to line the entire uh, pond with concrete? Uh, that's a lot. Uh, so uh, a lot of money. Is it worth it? That's the thing. So anyway, what we're going to do tonight is we're actually going to take uh, this 4x4 uh, four four here. We're going to take down some of this visqueen. We're going to slide this... 4x4 four four underneath, and then we're going to use some hydraulic jacks and some wood, and we're going to actually lift up this entire um, entire bed, and then we're going to slip some of that, um, the railroad tie there that's on the bottom. We're going to take out the 2x6s that are down there, and we're going to put in that railroad tie, and then put 2x6s on top to get the height that we need. So, let's get started. I'll be honest, this is probably one of the biggest mistakes I made when I designed this system. 
Uh, I should have gave more thought to the footing. It's working. It's good enough. I mean, for what it is, it's good enough. But it could definitely be a lot better, a lot safer. So we're definitely going to, uh, for phase uh, four, uh, when we build the second habitat, definitely going to redo the way we put all this in the ground. Still want the fish ponds down in the ground. Gives us heat, helps keep them cool in the summertime. Uh, the trout don't actually need light down there. They're actually very happy in the dark, so there's no problem there. Um, so really like the fish tank where they're at, but the footing's got to be fixed. So now, I've had to do this before. I've had to do it a lot. I hate doing it. Um, got my level, and the level says we need to come up, well, probably about a quarter of an inch, it looks like. Ooh, but a lot more on that side. So, let's get started. Okay, so I've had to do this before. Uh, unfortunately, if you check out one of my flashback series, you'll see that I actually had lane three really go wonky on me. Really dissatisfied with in myself for uh, not thinking through the footing more. I should have. Um, I thought the wood would be okay. Uh, but it wasn't. Uh, it is actually, hold on, that's not the right way to say it. It actually is good enough, and it actually did work by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And that's just too close to comfort. It's uncomfortable being close to it. I don't really like how it's all set up. This particular feature where, you know, it sinks down when it gets wet is totally not okay. So I've got this bed right here draining right now. This one's already empty, so it's as light as possible. These are not light shelves. Got a three-ton jack here. Got an eight-ton uh, hydraulic jack on the other side. If I had another hydraulic jack that fit under here, I'd be using it. They work a lot better. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, get started here. So one thing that happens when you do start lifting this up is that these things will tend to pop out, so you've got to be careful there. There we go, getting a lift. Just, I found little adjustments at a time. Little adjustments. That's what we want to do. We don't need to get crazy. So now I'm going to go to the other side and start to lift it so that we try to get an even lift. Okay, so I just got everything to level and uh, kind of get a close up here. You see, that's hard to tell. I am certainly not putting my hand under there, but you can kind of get some scale. There's my pinky right there. It's almost two inches that had to come up. So now what I need to do is dig this all out. I have the other side blocked uh, in case something happens. This one's on the jack. I've got to move quickly. This is kind of like surgery. I got to be very careful dig this down, make it square, and then insert my block. Here we go. Okay, well, there it is. It's in there. Let's do the other.
Okay. A bubble there. Looks pretty good. And our bubble here looks pretty good. Got a jack. And I've got a level bed. Not bad. I'm not dead. That's even better. I'm not crushed. I'm not maimed. I really do uh, I really do think about that a lot when I'm out here working by myself. Now, for safety reasons, Mrs. Martian has me carry one of these just in case. Mrs. Martian, this is Mr. Martian. Come in, Mrs. Martian. Over. You always have to say over. It's very important. Just want to let you know I'm still alive, Mrs. Martian. Over. I'm very happy my Martian is still alive. Okay, I'm going back to work. I'm almost done. Oh, good. I'm glad everything's going good. I love you, honey. Love you, too. Over and out. She's awesome. Okay, so tonight we accomplish what I'd like to say is totally rocking it, man. We got it all done. Everything came out really nice. I'm alive. I'm not injured, at least not yet. I'm still in the building, so I need to get out of here, knock on wood before something bad happens. But all in all, everything went really, really nice tonight. The bed is nice and level. Everything looks great. Really excited, very happy with the results. So thanks for following along. Hopefully uh, there's a little excitement for you. I know it got my heart going. Maybe not, it, it may not translate that well on YouTube, but trust me, doing something like this really gets the heart going. Uh, anything can go wrong at any moment and you really gotta appreciate and respect the fact that that could happen. So I definitely do and I don't take it for granted. So thank you God for keeping me safe. Um, I think that's it for tonight. Thanks for following along. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like and hit that little notification button right to the left to subscribe and you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for your support everybody. This is The Real Martian. Out.